Hey, Ron, again, I got a quick addendum to my last video, the uh, one where I answered an x-ray tech who immediately jumped from x-ray school graduation into MRI and is getting cross-trained. Um, I was thinking some more about it as I was uploading it. And one possible option as an administrator, we're always looking to not just fully staff the department, but also have some backups. Um, and so what you may consider is if there's a possibility of approaching your employer and saying, look, I, I am grateful that I got the opportunity to cross you an MRI. I really miss working an x-ray. And first see if there's any kind of compromise where they'll let you work a day in x-ray and uh, you know, four days in MRI, one day in x-ray. Um, and, and here's why that compromise is a good idea. Um, as an administrator of a radiology department, you've always got this constant ebb and flow of technologists uh, being sick, getting pregnant, going on vacation, quitting, getting fired, moving, all these things. And you're, you're constantly, especially in a big level in trauma, like where you're at, um, it, it's a full-time job just keeping the, the staff um, full. So you like to have, a, let's say the MRI department, you like for it to be fully staffed, say you need eight to run your MRI department. Um, if any one of those goes on vacation or, or surgery for an extended period of time, one of those eight people has to then cover and it throws it all off. What you want is one or two other people that are trained as well, kind of in the wings, so to speak, waiting to cover. And so what you could consider is approaching the boss and saying, uh, you know, I'm fully trained and I'm licensed and I really like MRI, but I also really like x-ray and I I'd really like to work in there. Could I be your backup for MRI? Now that you know that I'm trained and now that you know that I can work on my own, uh, could I go back to x-ray where I enjoyed it a little bit more and uh, felt more confident and I will be your backup to your MRI department. So when somebody takes vacation or goes out on surgery, you can put me on the schedule to fill in for a week or a month or three months, however long it takes. And then when they're back, I go back to x-ray and, and you continue to operate because um, every modality needs, needs backups, uh, pinch hitters, so to speak. Uh, so that may be an option for you is to see if, um, like, for example, if, if, if you interviewed for this position against other technologists at this hospital, maybe there was 10 other people that, that interviewed against you. And so that should tell the boss that there's other options. Um, if he can afford, if the boss, he or she can afford it, it would be wise to allow you back into x-ray, for example, especially if they're needing text there and keep you trained in MRI by filling in for vacations, et cetera. For example, I had uh, one hospital had 120 employees. And I had a uh, educator, which is a person that keeps track of all the licensures and online modules and uh, Donna Wright stuff. I mean, um, lots of stuff. It's a title on its own. But the person I put in that position was a very competent MRI tech. Um, she had done MRI for a while, was very good, one of the best in the department, and uh, approached and, and interviewed for this educator position. And I thought, well, I don't want to lose you as an MRI tech, but I know you'll be great in this other position. So what if, uh, if you got the position, would you be willing to work one day per pay period in MRI and the rest of the time in this new position? And so that allowed her to keep her foot in the door and stay competent and current and um, fluent in MRI, but allowed her to move into this new position where she wanted to be. And it's, it was kind of similar to your situation. She, you know, well, I won't get into the details, but um, she was very happy in her new position, but still loves MRI and loves to be in there. And when somebody calls out sick, I can tap her shoulder to see if she can fill in in there. Um, so I just wanted to add this addendum for you because I don't want you to feel, you know, I, I wanted it to be clear that the employer has the right to expect you to stay in there after they cross train you. Um, you can spend upwards of $50,000 cross training a tech for, for six months in the MRI and then they go and get their license like you're planning on doing and then for you to turn around and, and bolt 
uh, is kind of a stab in the back for the employer who gave her the option and the training and spent the money on you. Now, I'm not saying you're going to bolt. Some, that's what some people do. Um, and that's why it's tricky cross training from within, but I also, I always advocate cross training from within, but, uh, and there's an article on that at my blog as well about why you should cross train and, and maybe you should look that article up because it's a proponent piece about why bosses, administrators should cross train people and how they could then juggle them between departments. And that's kind of where I'm going with this addendum is you could be used as a pinch hitter for MRI when they need somebody, as opposed to right now you're locked in there and if, if uh, somebody goes out on a three month knee surgery, you're short a person and you may not have backup. Um, and that means everybody just has to do more work and stretch longer hours and, or they lose volume and they, they don't get as many patients as they would have if everybody was there. So consider checking out that article on cross training on the radiologictechnologist.com and see all the reasons why it's smart for administration to cross train people and see if you can't find some information there to, to share with your boss on why it's a good idea to let you do both. Um, and then check out my post on rad tech burnout, which is why you're seeing the virtual background here for the HRA. That's my talk coming up is rad tech burnout scroll through there and see if you're hitting any of those um, targets on burnout and look and see what the remedies are because I've got two remedies for every one of the 13 reasons for burnout that we see as technologists. So again, sorry I couldn't get all this in one video. Sometimes it comes to me after the fact uh, and I, I don't use a script because I feel like I can just be more, more uh, genuine that way. Um, so if you haven't already hit the like button and subscribe, um, I should probably mention that little bell thing, but I never do that. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. See you later.